Mordor, the land where shadows lie. It's not only home to foul orcs and trolls, there are a great many creatures that would call Mordor their home. From Gorgoroth to Nur, we'll simply walk into Mordor and give you a glimpse of the monsters of Mordor. Nern, the green forests fed by the ashes of a nearby volcano, have given birth to all kinds of life. Living here, amongst the trees, you can find the apex predator of Mordor. In Sindarin, it's called Row of Teeth, because it has rows of teeth. Of course, we're talking about the Caragor. Caragors live not only here, but have migrated across Mordor to the case of Kirith Ungol, the hills of Saragost and the Ashfield plains of Gorgoroth. These harsher environments have spontaneously combusted patches of fur along the back of the Caragors, making them look quite fabulous. One exception to the previous is the Dire Caragor. Though baldness is not a trait that is favored in men, the Dire Caragor seems to benefit from it as they have shown to be the leader of the pack. Even though they are quite the dangerous predator, the Caragor shares a lot of traits with the common house cat. Caragors spend most of their days lying around, hunting the local wildlife, or when it gets offended, it quietly will hide in a nearby bush. They are best not to be disturbed when this happens, unless you are in for a surprise murder hug. Tonight the forest is restless. Two adult grouks are having a dispute. It's a battle of giants. The reason for their fight is unclear. Hypotheses have been offered for the grouks short temper. It could be the lack of genitalia that angers them. Scientists have also noticed that grouks react in an aggressive manner when they are being offended. This could stem from a low self-esteem. Whichever might be the case, we don't recommend these theories to be tested. While Grouks grow to be mammoths, standing up to 9 meters tall, one part of their body hasn't kept up. This specimen's fairly unintelligent gaze should give you a clue to what body part we are referring. However, what the Grouk lacks in intelligence. It makes up for in brute strength. Even though usually a fair amount of grey matter is required to be able to adapt to any environment, certain subspecies of Grouks have adapted quite well to their surroundings. If these species had a true name, it's long since been lost. They can only be described as elemental Grouks. Dark powers allow these creatures to harness poison, frost, and incendiary powers, changing not only their appearance, but also their means of attack. Moving from the surface to beneath, the very soil that the Caragors and Graugs walk on. Live creatures so foul that not even the blind mogul bat can stand the sight of them. Ghouls they are called. Ghouls undoubtedly hold the trophy for being the most horrid looking creature in Mordor. And that includes Gollum. Unlike most surface dwellers, ghouls have quite a delicate frame. For this reason alone, you will never find them unaccompanied but always within the relative safety of their hive. These hives are led by the Ghoulmatron, the matriarch of the Ghoul Swarm. They grow larger and stronger than their brethren, up to 9 feet tall, but what they gain in size, they lack in any form of allure. Be careful when they come out, because they do not only attack their prey with tooth and claw, 
but can spew acid as well. These spitter ghouls are survivors of a morgul bat's venomous bite. Instead of decaying, they combine the venom with their own caustic digestive juice to create a nasty cocktail of projectile vomit to incapacitate their opponent. All in all, these creatures are only dangerous at night because when the sun comes out, they quickly retreat to the relative safety of the shadows. From below the surface, we're looking up to the skies. This creature is known by many different names. Worm, serpent, wyvern, dragon, or drake. Not to be confused with the rapper. As a crossbreed between the dragons of old and fell beast, fire drakes are creatures of great power. And with great power comes an explosive temperament. Yet for all their raw power, they have a surprisingly delicate constitution. However, drakes are quite intelligent and know how to tip the scale in their favor. This land spreads far and wide, creating a home for the monsters of Mordor.